5 years if you don't want to miss any of the videos uploaded by me please follow these steps in your cell phone open youtube and in the search box type shaker mass you will see my photograph in a circle and also a subscribe button so touch the subscribe button and also touch the bell icon and select all you will get instant notifications whenever i upload any of my video welcome to shaker maths today we are going to learn sixth class mathematics semester 2 seventh chapter introduction to algebra exercise 7.1 problems exercise 7.1 first problem find the rule which gives the number of matchsticks required to make the following matchstick patterns 1 2 3 solution first solution take the shape and number of matchstick in first shape 1 t in second shape 2 t's in third shape 3 t's are formed from the matchsticks here in first shape 2 matchsticks are used in second shape 4 matchsticks and in third shape 6 matchsticks are used so pattern 2 can be written as 2 into 1 4 2 into 2 6 2 into 3 observe that there is a constant number 2 in first in second 1 2 3 numbers are changing so rule or formula is first number is constant 2 second number is replaced by a variable or a letter n that is 2 into n now in second solution a pattern of e so in first shape a pattern of e is there and in second shape two e's are formed and in third shape three e's are formed using match sticks so in first shape five match sticks are used in second shape 10 match sticks and in third shape 15 match sticks are used here pattern used is 5 can be written as 5 into 1 10 5 into 2 15 5 into 3 here observe that the first number 5 is constant and the second numbers are 1 2 3 they are changing so rule or formula is the first number 5 and changing number is replaced by a letter n that is variable n so formula is 5 into n third solution a pattern of z in first shape one z is formed using matchsticks in second shape two z's are formed in third shape three z letter are formed so in first shape three matchsticks are used in second shape six matchsticks in third shape nine matchsticks are used so here pattern used are three can be written as three into one six three into two nine three into three so observe that the first number three is constant so and second number one two three are changing so pat rule or formula is first number three and changing number is replaced by a letter n that is three into n now number two make a rule between the number of blades required and the number of fans say n in a hall solution take the figure and number of blades in first shape figure one fan is there and in the second figure two fans and in third figure three fans are there so in first figure there are three blades in in second figure there are six blades in third figure there are nine blades so pattern used here are three can be written as three into one six three into two and nine three into three here first number three is constant and second number one two three are changing so rule of formula we can write it as first number constant 3 and second changing number is replaced by a letter n so formula is 3 into n now third problem the cost of a pen is 7 rupees then what is the rule for the cost of n pens solution number of pens and its cost in first figure there is only one pen in second figure there are two pens in third figure there are three pens so in figure in first figure one pen costs seven rupees two pens cost in figure two 14 rupees in figure three 21 rupees so pattern here is seven can be written as seven into one 14 seven into two 21 seven into three here observe that seven is constant and number one two three are changing so here rule or pattern is constant 7 into the changing number can be replaced by a letter n that is 7 into n 
Now, fourth problem. The rule for purchase of books is that the cost of Q books is rupees 25 Q. Then find the price of one book. Solution. Cost of Q books is rupees 25 Q. That means it can be written as rupees 25 into Q. Where Q is number of books. That is Q may be one book or two book or three books and so on up to Q. So cost of one book is nothing but put one in place of Q. That is rupees 25 into one. That is cost of one book is rupees 25. Now number five. Hashri says that she has five biscuits more than Padma has. How can you express the relationship using the variable Y? Solution. Number of biscuits Padma has. Number of biscuits Hashri has. Write it in a tabular form. And we don't know that uh, how many biscuits has Padma has. She may have one biscuit or two biscuits or three biscuits. And also observe that Hashini says that she has five biscuits more. Observe here number five and the word more. More indicates that the operation we have to do is addition. That is plus five. So number of biscuits Hashini has one plus five, six and two plus five, seven and three plus five, eight. So observe the pattern here. The first number one, two, three are changing. So number number of biscuits Hashni has, we can change, uh, we can replace the changing number by the letter Y, and plus five is constant, so plus five is added. So number of biscuits Hashni has equal to Y plus five. Thanks for watching video. Don't forget to subscribe. Say karmas.